Hello, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today on Why Usability, I'm going to talk about guitar strings. I'm going to talk about something that happened to me last week where a friend uh, borrowed my guitar and managed to break a string. And when I got the guitar back, the string was still broken and not replaced. And I am not like, I own a guitar, but I'm not a huge guitar player, so it's been a very long time since I changed the string on the guitar. I was kind of intimidated about the, the aspect of changing the string. And when I opened up the guitar case, I realized I didn't know which string to use. And the example that I'm going to show you highlights the importance of introducing your product and making your product easy to use so that people want to come back and buy your product again. And so that people don't get frustrated with the product and associate you negatively, even if they don't ever buy again. Because as we know, word of mouth is huge. And of course, first impressions are huge. And that goes for people and products both. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here is the packaging for the first guitar strings that I came across. Now you see that um, there's a label here with the brand. Then we have this 0 .030 or 0 .76 millimeter. Uh, I don't, I still don't know what that means. And then for another string, 0 .36, so a little bit bigger, 0 .91 millimeters. And another string, 0.46, a 1.17 millimeter. So they're getting a little bigger. I have some idea of what that might mean, but I'm not really sure. So let's go on to the next option. Oh, here's something interesting. The strings are pictured on the back with colors. And if my camera a little better, you could see that... The colors also have the notes on the guitar next to them. And if we go and look at an actual string, the end of the string is colored to correspond to the chart that we saw on the back of the packaging there. So using this, I can determine which string goes in which order. And if you'll notice, bear with me, on the guitar, the strings are arranged from thickest to the least thick. And on the packaging, they're laid out in that same way. So I could tell from that perspective as well. If I'm not entirely sure whether purple belongs on the top half or on the bottom half, I can figure out just by laying this out the same as my guitar. Now, I can certainly do some thickness to thinness uh, measurements with this other option, but the truth is I had used one of these strings before, so now I don't have five, and I can't tell which one's the thickest and what string it should correspond to. But with this one, I know what colors I have left, so I know what strings I can have available. And in this case, it was the purple string, and I was able to replace it actually really quickly and without a whole lot of stress, other than, you know, hoping I didn't break the string again. Okay, so what I just showed you is a scenario where the first impression of the product is what made me excited to use the product. and if I need to buy guitar strings again, I know I'm going to go back, grab that packaging, and try and get those same strings or that, so I can get those same results. As I said, it was quick and easy to install a string. I was had a very high level of confidence that that string was the right string in the right spot. And I feel like there's not going to be any problems with that. And that's really important when you're selling a product that people can have that level of confidence. 
with the other string, with the gauge numbers, I guess they're called, the decimals, it's intimidating. You know, it doesn't tell you where the string should go. I, if I were to come across a conclusion somehow, make a decision on that, I might be second guessing myself going forward. Is that the right string? You know, I can tune it to the right thing, but it's huge. It's very big for products. It's very big for usability of products. And packaging is actually one of the most overlooked aspects of lots of products. Some companies, you know, they think that if they get some big marketing slogans on there, that if the package is colorful or has a nice logo, that'll be that'll be sufficient. But the packaging needs to be as usable as the product. The packaging needs to complement the product. And that's the lesson for today. So I really appreciate you tuning in, watching, and uh, feel free to go ahead and leave any comments or uh, give me some feedback. And thanks again.